Hello? You need some help? Oh shit, is this the wrong channel? Damn it. I'm trying to contact a friend. If someone's lost, I can help look for him. I doubt it. He's somewhere over here in Monarch Studios, and trust me, you do not want to come here. Uh, uh... No worries, I know the place inside and out. I'll find your friend. I think you're crazy, but I'll take any help I can get. I'm searching for the gas station set. One with the giant spider. Meet me there. <laughs> Always with the... I'll admit it. That was stupid, but also incredibly... Yeah. Impressive. Never expected to run into a space fox captain out here. Never expected you to actually show up. You're really going to help look for Sebastian? Sure. Gonna need more than a name, though. He's a skinny kid. No fighter. But he's tricky. Creative. It's how he's made it this far. The problem is I can't reach him on the radio, and his stupid Dee Dee toy keeps drawing in the zombies. That adorable beeping in the bag? Dee Dee 09, Space Fox's nav droid and baby robot merchandise milker. Can't stand the thing. But Sebastian loved it enough that he made a replica for conventions. I have no damn clue how to shut it up. If he doesn't get back and do something about it soon, our safe zone will be overrun. <laughs> All right, give me the bag. I'm sure Dee Dee will get Sebastian's attention. You can clearly take care of yourself. Fine, you take Dee Dee. Start your search in Soundstage 3. I'll keep looking out here in peace. Just don't lose that bag. It's lost enough as it is.
We'll find him, Didi. Think your friends here, Dee Dee? Let's try somewhere else, huh? Nothing to say, Didi. Hey, can you hear me? There are body snatchers everywhere. You gotta get out of here. Must be our boy. Let's go, Dodo. like this. I can check on it, but not until those body snatchers are dealt with. Uh, 
for now. Bring DD-09 over here so we can talk. I left DD-09 with the IRL Captain Vixen, so where's Mrs. Shepard? And why do you have my robot? And on that note, why are you here? And also, who even are you? Captain Vixen sent me to find you. So the captain sent you? But I'm fine. I'm just scavenging for tools and parts. Nothing to worry about. The problem is, Didi here can't keep her little robot mouth shut. She's been attracting every zombie around. The captain's fine, but it was kind of dicey there. Jeez, oh, I really screwed up. This is beyond cringe. My dumb robot nearly got Miss Shepard killed. I can't show my face around her no more. She's she's gonna hate me. Hey, hey, it's chill. Just turn Dee Dee's speech parameters down a notch, or whatever. And go tell your captain you're okay. You're right. I'll fix DD-09 up and return to camp. But please, take something for helping Captain Vixen today. Consider it your spoils of war, and may the Star of Volpine guide you. Hey, Captain. I found Sebastian outside stage six. He's fine. Should be back with you soon. Oh, I can't thank you enough for this. If you ever need to take a break, you're welcome to join us behind the big green screen. I'm keeping the area safe.
Exhausted. Come, rest. Those devils will still be there when you go back out. Shit don't always work out how we want. I could always rely on Michael. And like someone else I could mention. Look, Emma. You know I'm bad with this. This stuff. I only just showed up. I didn't know the guy. But Michael was important to you. And that makes him important to me, too. If you want to sit a while at the grave, I'll make sure. Now there's a sight for sore eyes. Pull up a seat. I want to chat. You're not in a rush, are you? Hey, old timer. You've gotten comfortable, huh? Company's a marked improvement here. That's for damn sure. Just a pity that's a tasteful Miss John left the stocking of the liquor cabinet to her tasteless hound of a husband. <laughs> <laughs> Just glad you've got your priorities straight. Why settle for less, I say? These good people welcome me into their home. They deserve the best. <laughs> and I happen to know that slacker up the hill was holding on to some vintage art killing whiskey as an investment. And when those internet kids moved in, I gave them a bottle of Maison Saint-Vivant that's older than they are. <laughs> if only some kind soul would help an old man out, I could raise everyone's spirits. Oh, I get it. You're lucky you're charming, Grandpa. Ha ha ha! Get me those drinks, and I swear to you, I'll make it worth your time. I've got something special that'll make those mealy-mouthed, undead bastards slither back into their graves. All right, then. Better not keep them waiting. I knew I could rely on you, kid. Godspeed.
ancient bottle of wine. Gotta be a wine cellar in a place like this. Mr. Sinclair won't be having this. Oh, yeah. You feel with. old. Really old. You there, kid? If you're still down at that modern mansion, look out for a cigar box. The finest Cubans. Gave them as a housewarming gift. And I got a hankering. Dude, really? All right, but this is the last thing. <laughs> then I'll sweeten the deal. Check their master bedroom, and you'll find a little something extra. Mr. Sinclair is just going to have to learn to share.
Right then, where will that good stuff be hiding? After the only drink he ah! fella didn't get his hands on. To the guest room! is all dull. This ain't it. Got somewhere to, to be. Some of his favorite cheese, too. Don't say I never do anything for you. You're too good to me, kid. And don't let anyone say that Curtis Sinclair is not a man of his word. You take my rifle, Pete. 
And for the cigars, I'll throw in some ammunition to get you started. Whoa. That's an honor, sir. Old Peggy's done right by me over the years, but my joints can't handle her kickback no more. Treat her right, and she'll look after you, too. You sure you won't need the protection? Ah, uh, no need to worry about me, kid. They can try and bite me. My hide's tougher than a two-dollar steak. Besides, I can still handle a pistol just fine. I'll be all right with Peggy's little sister, Betty, on my hip. <laughs> tapes, didn't you? I'm slowly sinking in, huh? Hey, thanks to you, I'm on my way back up, man. Those samples and old ideas are gonna be part of a new album, man. Big themes, big riffs, sex, death, undeath, badass lyrics. Well, I'm a little out of practice with lyrics, I'm not gonna lie. What are you talking about? Screaming fans, screaming guitars. Oh, hey, I gotta go to my place and get Chopper. The Apocalypse needs a soundtrack, man, and Ricky Rex is gonna ride with the horsemen! All right. But I'll go, man. I can get this chopper for you. Oh, yeah? Oh, killer! Cause I got this song brewing, and I gotta keep hold of it. Oh, you need to find Misha. Chopper's locked away upstairs at my place. You gotta be careful. Cause, cause this one time, when we didn't lock up, when the party finished, the whole upstairs was, like, empty. Totally cleaned out. So, yeah, Misha, she had the key. Okay, Ricky. I'm going. You best go around the back through the kitchen. Oh, and if the band are there and, you know, milking their encore, could you send them up to the big gig in the sky? I'll rock them into the next world. Don't worry. And I'll be back with the chopper. have arrived at your destination. Shit! Oop. Party's still raging. This looks fucking cool.
Door's locked. What the crap was he rambling on about? Misha has the key. I gotta lure her to me. That gives me an idea. Let's get this party started! Mercy buckets. Ricky has a golden toilet up here.
If I were an idiot drunk rocker, I must admit, she's a sexy lady. than whiskey. Wild. Chopper! Killer! This is it, New Dawn! Oh, did you, uh, or, or the band? They went out partying like it's 2099. That's... they would've wanted that. I'm gonna write them a song for the new album. Slam to the Slaughter! You're making a new album? Yeah! Check this out! One man, and one woman, and her pain in the ass daughter on a quest through the apocalypse to put a band together playing music so spine-shakingly epic the zombies' heads literally explode. That's one way to save the world. But hey, make Jesse your tour manager, okay? You need her if you're gonna stay alive. Yeah, yeah, that works. Another new start. Hey, you really helped me out. Oh, I got this 
big sword I used on the Knights of the Sound Fable tour. You want it? Fuck yeah! Gods and whiskey! Look like someone well versed in matters of the grotesque. I do. Well, I can see that you're begging to ask, so I'll tell you. Yes, I am an artiste, a sculptor of perceptions, of minds, of reality itself. Francesca. Um, Carla. Hi. Since the dawn of humankind, art has challenged us and elevated us. Now more than ever, it is art that will save us from our moral decay. You want to help save people, don't you? Well, yeah. Then go out and collect me infected flesh. You can rip it straight from any of those mindless conformists wandering around. Or perhaps you already have some to donate. When you've got enough, put it in that bucket there. The hell are you gonna do with a steaming pile of zombie flesh? Oh. <laughs> How can you be so obtuse? I'm creating my magnum opus, my masterwork. I am Michelangelo, and you must bring me the finest vein marble. Now go! Wow. Well, it'll make a good story. Yes. My medium is death. For how else should we understand life? <gasps> Finally, the process can begin. The sublime pain and sacred pleasure of new creative birth. Okay, lady. I'm leaving you to your art now. My god, we've barely begun. I need rarer, more exquisite parts. I've been listening to the inane chatter on the radio. I've heard of marvelous and monstrous beasts around the city. I must mold their fantastical corruption. Ew. Mark this. My artistic flow is paramount. I'll place my requests on the board up there. When you bring the matter, do not interrupt me. Just drop it in the bucket. Uh-huh. And do I get anything out of all this? We can trade for my aesthetic leftovers. But as I pass you the dregs of my creativity, Consider what residue of your own will you discard. Don't answer. Just let that stew for a while. Go out and bring me something fabulous from those monstrosities. Oh, an artist dreams of such materials. <sighs> Really fine addition. Honestly, do you need to stomp around making all that noise? Some of us are trying to create. <laughs> 